Hello, my little worms. I'm Day, and welcome back to Day Completes Arknights, the series in which I try to actually make progress in the Arknight story, one level at a time. And the level we're attacking today is R8 4 Sparks, extinguished in a touch. Sometimes protecting others is not a goal, but a process. Also, Ursus's crossbowmen uh, also, why so many also's, also privately believe that killing others is not a goal. But a process. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Very reasonable, isn't it? Aesthetic roadblocks and Ursus civilians. And now it's time for us to start the level. And yes, I'm bringing along two Texases because uh, apparently I can. I, I didn't think it would let me bring along like both Texases at the same time, but sure, apparently I can. Mission start! Hui <laughs> Che. If memory serves me correctly, and I don't trust it to, the old man's name was Ivan. Oh god, how do I pronounce that last name? Uh, is Iziaslav. Maybe. A very common name, and he was the sort of peasant farmer you could find anywhere. <gasps> anywhere? Like right behind me? There's no peasant farmer behind me, so uh, unfortunately I think that's a no. But he sacrificed himself, for a whole mess of reasons. He gave his own life. <gasps> dut, dut, dut. I think about it every now and then. Am I truly worth people sacrificing their lives? Alina went with me. She was gentle most other times, but would suddenly just come out with venomous tongue lashings. That made me uncomfortable, to say the least. The plan was proceeding smoothly. In accordance with my own ideas, rapidly the infected of this place would surely unite as one. I hoped it would be effective. And I hoped it would be enough for the old man to rest peacefully. Aside from the old lady, no one else had been closer family to me. February 7th. Third year without the Black Snake. Sir, I'm... What you here for? Don't like the look of your clothes. Some old vet, are you? Get lost! There's nothing even left here. You lot stole it. All of it. And what you couldn't steal, you burned. Bastards! You came to kill me? Kill me then! Goddamn demons! N no, no, sir. I'm, I'm here to tell you that the infected patrol unit is sweeping this area today. Then let them sweep. Let them kill us all, why don't you? We built our pathetic, unlivable village all the way out here, and they still come for us. What else can we do but let them? Sir, you can, you can hide yourselves, and, and I'll talk to them, or I can conceal myself. And who are you? I always said, you military noble bunch, no matter what you pretend, you're all just out for your... For your? For our lives. Ha! You're not quite their sort. You actually talk with us, and they think we're barely even worth whipping. Huh? Hello? Gorn? What kind of stunt is this? Oh, damn us all. Damn us all. What a pathetic ending. It's no bad thing to know your own damnation. Ah, Miss, Mr. Patrolman. Destitute and lousy. Bad physique. You wouldn't be much use even if we sent you to the mines. How do you want to die, then? Painlessly? Slowly? M Mr. Patrolman, look at me. W what, what harm would leaving me alive do you? You say that with a weapon in your hand? S sorry, Mr. Mr. Patrolman. Uh, this was for whoever was just here a moment ago. I, I don't know where she's gone now, but... Even bird and beast are worth more than you infected. They can at least move goods. Your existence is a waste of his majesty's land. Why is that? Dash dash. Where did you come from? From far, far east. What the hell are you- You? Are you infected too? I am. I can think. I can speak. We infected live and die. Why should you decide when and how? What is this bullshit? If you could let us die peacefully on our own terms, we'd hardly even be upset about it. But, my infected brother, look up at him. Look at his face, his grin, his laugh. They want to decide our fates, control us. Perhaps our lives aren't worth much, but do you think you'd be worth a single gold coin? You, my brother, in all their past outrageous acts, have they ever spared someone for their conduct? Have they ever let another live for following instructions? They have not. Each time they let you live, it was only because they still saw worth they could squeeze from you. 
With no money and no land left, they'd kick you to the floor. After all, the cities don't even give infected the chance to live. How should we infected live? How should we die? That is for us to decide. Da -da 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 exclamation mark! But who are you? You good for nothing! Tell me your name at once! In the name of the Emperor, for daring to lead his citizens... <laughs> Citizenry, astray with these ludicrous ideals, we sentence you to death. To my brothers I have no name. Refer to me how you wish. If you must call me something, you may call me Tallulah. To my enemies, you have no need for my name, but my fires will set you alight. And we have arrived in the level. <laughs> Give us a quick pause. So we're going to have uh, civilians heading through there, I guess. Uh, so I guess these uh, points we're probably going to have to try to get rid of if they want to try to like walk through them. Alright, that's good to know. Uh, our protection thing is over here, uh, so definitely going to be trying to protect that. Enemies going to be coming in from a lot of positions it seems like, because I'm assuming the civilians are probably only from that one, so good to know. I guess immediately we just place down uh, the vanguard Texas there so we can be getting some DP up. Uh, this is a little unfortunate that I'm only bringing one uh, vanguard currently when normally I bring two, but yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine, right? <laughs> Alright, give me some of that. Uh, so are you gonna like stop and wait here for now? Because I definitely need to get rid of this. Ooh, you're going back up? Oh no, there we go. You're, you're waiting there. Good. Uh, I guess this is probably something that I can actually use this Texas for. So can you get rid of that, please? Uh, you're gonna have some enemies coming through here. Uh, la, 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 la. Yes, sure. I, I want to just do this, I think. That, that, that will probably be like the most helpful thing I can do right now. Get rid of that and have Blaze facing this way, so all these units will probably go through this way, because it'll be quicker, I guess, than going around. Uh, so that should hopefully be fine. Uh, we will need a healer down. Uh, you don't need to be here anymore, so I should just get rid of you so that you can be coming back quickly. Uh, yes, what do we do about healers? I, I can put you here to do this. Uh, you're, you're only really going to be healing Blaze is the problem if I do that sort of thing, though. Would it be more useful to instead do this and then try to heal them some other way? Because uh, if we put like Mulberry here, and that's the wrong one, Mulberry here, we can still be healing Blaze from there? Which would be helpful, I guess. But is that the most helpful I can do? Or should I just do this? Hmm. Always the question, isn't it? I, I think I'm just going to do Nightingale and then put you like out here. Because <laughs> yeah, I can just do it that way around. That will still probably be decently effective. Uh, so, the civilian has made it just... Jesus. <laughs> that civilian got very low. Uh, how do we avoid that happening again for, like, the next one is the problem? Uh, we need to be killing things down here, like, much quicker, I reckon. Uh, you're being shot, which is definitely a problem, so I guess try to heal you. Uh, put you, like, this way to try to get rid of some of these people here so they're not just shooting the civilians. Why do you guys always prioritize shooting the civilians? <laughs> Like, Jesus, guys, Jesus, you're being shot and you still shoot the civilians. And you just landed directly on top of this one. Great. Uh, you can't shoot this guy is the problem with your angle. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to use you to just distract this guy so he stops attacking the civilian, hopefully. All right. Uh, we probably need someone down, like, on this line right now. Maybe Lapland. We just, we need people to be attacking these guys, like, all over the place so they're not killing the civilians. All right. Civilian is going to be heading through up here. They're still going around. Alright, uh, you're fine. How many more civilians are we going to have to deal with, though? Uh, you're being shot. I, I, I want to get rid of you so that I can uh, have you coming back again, but right now you're just you're taking those shots, which is helpful. Alright, now they're going for the civilian. That is significantly less helpful. Uh, get rid of you, then. Uh, we need someone to be blocking those, so you please assist. We do not want these civilians getting taken out. Uh, you're probably going to shoot them again, though, so I need like you to attack them, maybe, but you're not within range. But hopefully you're here before the civilian is in range so that then Exia can get rid of them. Ooh, ooh, not good, not good, not good, very not good. And we've lost the civilian. Crap. Ah. How do I save that civilian, man? They just refuse to stop attacking them. I think I need a unit on that square. Yeah, I didn't notice I could place one back there. Yeah, I need someone there, I think. All right, good to know. All right, we're back. This might be slightly more effective now. Uh, I've changed up the positioning of some of the people. Uh, now, Spectre's up here on that line where I said. I uh, put Mulberry there to try to heal Spectre and Blaze. Uh, Exe is now like one lower, and then uh, you're also one lower there. And I think that's all I've done. Uh, but hopefully, 
this guy will actually survive this time. So come on. Just don't get hit too much on your way through. Pretty please. There's only a few more units. Ooh, ooh, someone's there. Ooh, that's potentially bad. Uh, let's uh, use Texas to get rid of that then. Because uh, that, that was just going to really screw us right at the end there. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use this uh, right now just to assist with this. Because it's like one of the few remaining things. All right. Uh, is that just the last guy? It's just when he goes through, it'll count for the end. I think it probably is, right? And... There we go. Mission accomplished. So, you fought them off? Is that it? Yeah. I was right not to go with you. Burning people alive. If I ever have to smell that again, I'm sure I'll throw up. Alina, don't force yourself. I am the one who followed you in the first place. And I'll protect your unaffected here. I will. No, I, I'm not here to beg you to... Of course you're not, Alina. Without you, I... I wouldn't have the time to go gather resources or info. Who's your contact? Would it, would it be safe to tell me? Dash Dash. A are you worried I'm an Ursa spy? Just wondering if it'd be better not to get you wrapped up in this. The moment we became infected, life for us couldn't get any worse. I'm in contact with infected in other places. Trying to keep tabs on which way the cities are moving, so I can help the infected surviving out in the northwestern tundra as best I can. What you're doing is... Insane, in a lot of ways. Where did your conviction come from? Did someone teach you all this? No. What taught me was both uh, malignant and deranged, brimming with the arrogance of rule and the terror of power. And I vowed to walk against it. I'm going to tear their decorous flesh straight from their bones, pull apart the noble cities their pride built layer by layer, and let everyone know the truth, everyone out on the tundra. And after all that, we'll decide our own destinies. We're going to clear this land out. We'll found our own homeland. And if anyone thinks to stop us, we'll topple them right there and there. Right then and there. That's the way around that was <laughs> said. <laughs> Part of this world belonged to the infected in the first place. Just as so many places across this land belong to all people. Be, be more realistic, Tallulah. This is all too out there. If, if you do this, the, the village will be destroyed. They'll have nowhere to go, and the patrol unit will chase them down. And if I don't do this, the village would still end up abandoned over time. Not, not everyone can join the army. The elderly, the children, the injured, and sick. If you have them give up everything they've ever survived on, they'll die no matter the soil quality. I know, Alina. So we'll find somewhere new. Come on, let's go. We've got somewhere we can stay tonight. <sighs> Thank you for having us. Ain't nothing. W without you, we'd probably all be dead by now. Though there was still pretty much a death's door. Sorry, but back at the start, s seeing you, I, I was readying up for a, for a fight, but <sighs> that that was all my bad. Don't really have anything left to welcome you with either. Just put up with this whole bit of gruel, I guess. <laughs> We're extremely thankful, sir. You, you shouldn't have, honestly. No, it, it's nothing. We we only had this bit left over anyway. However many days we have left. <laughs> Makes no difference. Wanna set up a village, huh? Doesn't matter how far you go. There's no point. Not much point at all. We can't run. You know how big Ursus is. There's no point heading anywhere when there's patrol guys all over. And other people aren't gonna want us. We've got nowhere to go. Then come with me. Where? Now? It, it doesn't need to be now. I'll wait until you're, you've thought it all through. Or if you end up with absolutely nowhere left to go, and you still want to live on, come find me, or find one of my brothers. If we head for the wilderness, life in the tundra's cruel to say the least. But we've got places to go, places without the hearth of civilization as of yet. We'll find somewhere we can sow and harvest. We have so many people, they'd surely be able to help out with business, and we'd have an income. We can always live on. And if the patrolmen come, we'd defeat them. Huh. What did you just say? What I can do, you can too. You were correct, arming yourself against me back there. If people think to come and rob us, we'll come together and fight them off. The infected have strength. We infected can, bit by bit, regain our own lives. Our bread. Our flames. I love how Tallulah says to the infected, come find me. And I'm like, how? I don't think you left them any like contact information. So it's just like, yes, come find me. I'm somewhere in the world doing something. Uh, 
Just walk him. Eventually, maybe you'll run into me. Or you'll die, but uh, let's see what happens first. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily seem like the best plan. Maybe like leave like a phone number or something to Lula. J just a thought. Anyway, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like and why not subscribe to the channel? Hey, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Sometimes this tracking is very annoying. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And ring the notification bell. It does something nice, don't know what. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next level. So for now, goodbye from the end. Roll the outro. I gave that bastard what he deserved. funeral fit for a king